Sehr verehrtes Publikum, einen wunderschönen guten Abend an alle Schweizer. Distinguished international guests, filmmakers and film lovers, welcome to tonight's special gala of Croc of Gold, A Few Rounds with Shane McGowan. So begin guys, yeah! You're in for a really fun movie, let me tell you. Äh, gleich als erstes ein großes Dankeschön an unseren Main-Partner Samsung, der diese Gala-Premiere möglich macht. Welcome to the 16th Zurich Film Festival. Despite a uh, rather weird 2020, I'm so glad that you're all here to celebrate the art of film, that you're all here live at a theater seeing this film on the big screen. So thank you to all of you. We have 165 films this year, 23 world premieres. So it's safe to say that the 16th Zurich Film Festival has been a great success. Tonight's film is written and directed by Julian Temple, who lets us into the uh, interesting life of Shane McGowan and gives us a glimpse into never before seen footage of his life and of course the Pokes. Uh, and in case I didn't mention, we have some special guests here tonight. Who is it? I don't know. Yeah, shall I, shall I, is it, is it, is it? Well, it's not just the name that you mentioned. We also have the honor of having Shane McGowan's wife here tonight. So give them both a real warm Zurich welcome. Here's Victoria Mary Clark and Johnny Depp. My father is a bullfighter, and I am a watermelon. Oh, nice. That's what I said. Yeah. And so it sounds good, but it's rubbish. <laughs> I said nothing. And this basically sums up Johnny Depp. I'm kidding. It's kind of Victoria, you've just said that you, it's not your first time in Zurich. You were here with the Pope. I was here 10 minutes ago. Yeah, that's true. Exactly 10 minutes ago. But you said that you were here with the Popes many years ago and it was a bit of a different experience. What memories do you have of back in the day? Well, you see, in those days we traveled in a tour bus and we slept in the tour bus and it was very smelly. And in those days you were allowed to smoke in the bus. And so everybody was smoking and watching porn movies and like, it was kind of interesting. I don't know, you'd have loved that. <laughs> uh, the no, no, no. Any, okay. any, any, any experience with, uh, with with Shane that I've had that I remember <laughs> have all been wonderful. I mean, they're all, they've all been great memories. Even when you come to three days later and you're in another country in a bathtub, <laughs> confused. <laughs> I was in Dublin that one minute, and then and then in Limerick. <laughs> Which no. is the capital, really. It's the real capital. But, but, I, yeah, but I actually ended up one night with Shane and there was a place called Lily's Bordello, which we all used to go to in Dublin. Everybody went there. Keith Richards. Madness. It was just mad. Everybody. And, um, yeah, Shane and I were drinking a lot. And when Shane drinks a lot, that's really, that's a lot. And when you drink a lot with Shane, it's really a lot. <laughs> It's more than any human should have, especially then. But uh, yeah, I um, remember being with Shane and Victoria Lily's Bordello, uh, and I came to in a bathtub in the south of France in Arles. Um, but everyone says I had a great time. Victoria, so I must have. I think I'm sure you did. 
You, you obviously know both Shane and Max, Johnny. Max, you right? coordinated right. your teeth with your jacket. <laughs> Give a big hand for Max and his teeth. <laughs> and his shoes. I have an American dentist. Um, thank you so much. He's a very <laughs> handsome man. Oh, stop it. Very handsome. <laughs> very handsome very man. Very handsome. <laughs> Like, we want to put him in a movie. Really. Okay, okay, enough about me. We're not, we're not talking about me. I want to talk about Johnny and Shane, and you know them both very well together. How 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 you describe? How would you describe their friendship and, and when they hang out? Obviously, we've heard some of the crazy stuff, but they, they inspire each other. You said earlier on, right? It's kind of a um, how would you describe? Have you seen the movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? <laughs> oh, let me think. Yes, I that's haven't. what it's like. I don't know which is which, which is Hunter and which is. But you know, it's an adventure. Okay. They're both very eccentric, very uncompromising, very creative, and very kind of like present. Like they're if they're if Johnny's somewhere, he's there. Like he's not in the next bit, he's right there. And he pays attention. I think that's an unusual quality. Shane's the same. He doesn't think about it. Shane can't plan for the future. He just can't. Like next week is doesn't exist. It ain't there. Next week is not there today, like it's now. It's only now. Yeah. Which, yeah. which made it Which I'd like to talk to all of you about for the next four and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> the power of now. The book I didn't now. write. That's Can we have some chairs, please? <laughs> so <Sofa. laughs> Well, but that, that, that part of Shane has made it a bit harder to make this film, right, Johnny? Um, it's, it's really a fascinating glimpse into his life, and uh, yeah, t tell us a bit about making this film work and, and convincing Shane. I mean, the, the beauty of it was <clears throat> I didn't really have, uh, I didn't convince you didn't have to convince Shane. Him. No, Victoria I had to convince him. Victoria. Is the secret weapon. But I promised him things, like I bribed him really. The main thing I You're bribed him for the first time. <laughs> no, actually, the main thing I bribed him with was that Jerry Adams was going to come to our house. Do you know who Jerry Adams is? You do? <laughs> so if you don't know, you should Google it. Anyway, so Shane reveres this guy, Jerry Adams, a politician, and he came to our house, and that was really the main incentive. Oh, and. For the entire film. For the entire film. One wow, we could have done a whole film on that. <laughs> but actually, I'd like to say that this is really a film about Ireland and England and the history between the two countries. And in a bigger sense, it's a film about people have reconciling, you know, when they've been at war or been colonialized and there's been oppression and there's been genocide, which there was in our country. And like Shane is sort of a product of those, of, you know, of Ireland as much as England. He's as English as he's Irish, even though he would hate me to say that. And I think he got his revenge on the English by writing a song that became the nation's, the English nation's favorite Christmas song, which is the best revenge, isn't it? When you, you get them to love you. Uh, yeah, no, I think he conquered the world with Fairy Tale of New York, which he won't talk about. No, he hates it. He won't talk about it. Which is, it is one of his most brilliant songs. It is classic. It is all these things, but it's 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 it, it's classic shame really to have written this masterpiece. And also from the point of view of the kind of people that most people just walk past in the street. Most, these people are like the kind of people that would just be sitting on the street. And Shane yeah. is always very conscious of those, like, you know, he would, I've never once seen him pass a homeless person without giving them all the money in his pocket, which is usually quite a lot. Um, and which I've is a drag for the yeah. next homeless person. Yeah. He walks 10 feet, there's another guy and he's got no money. Right? It's happened to me. Every it's time, yeah. Um, no, you're right. Shane, Shane is a beating heart. And, and I think in the film, he uh, very graciously and reluctantly opened up um, to things that he hadn't planned on opening up about. And when you're, as I said before, uh, if you're trying to capture someone, 
And you mentioned the idea of an interview, and it's someone like a Shane McGowan who is, it would be like walking up to, uh, I don't know, you know, Brendan Behan or uh, some great poet and asking for an interview. Shane detests the idea. So everything became a conversation. Everything became this conversation to basically let Shane tell the film what it wanted to be and what it needed to be. And Julian Temple did a, an incredible job of putting together that, that his, his, Shane's history um, and, and, and that uh, lead, lead, you know, his, his allegiance to uh, Ireland and the soil. And, the, you know. and, and obviously Julian is an English um, director and I think that was really interesting for him to approach the Irish situation or the troubles or whatever you want to call it like fresh as an English person and I do remember many times where he said you hate me because I'm English, don't you? You hate me because I'm a Brit. And you hate me because I'm a posh Brit. Not just a Brit, a posh Brit. And Shane was like, no, I hate you because you're a wanker. <laughs> Not because you're a Brit. But, but Julian did really feel that, you know, that weight of that colonialization, the, the weight of being the oppressor in the situation. I think there was a moment when Shane did say, something to the effect to, to Julian Temple, the, the director, and to Stephen Duders, our producer. Um, Fuck off, <laughs> fucking Brits. <laughs> so Julian might have been referencing oh, that. <laughs> I don't know. No. Shane, Shane, yeah, if, if well, it's like doing, you know, I mean, what are we, there are some of us who are nothing but giant toddlers. <laughs> um, Shane is a giant toddler, and he's, but, he's, but he's, also, he's also the very spirit of Baudelaire and Rimbaud and uh, Henry Miller and Brendan Behan and James Joyce. And, uh, that's, that's the pantheon that, that he belongs to, even though he would uh, repeatedly kick me in my midsection for saying <laughs> Um, he probably wouldn't mind if you said J.P. Dunleavy. If you said that, he'd be okay with it. About oh, Dunleavy, of course, yeah. Who was also a great fan. Yeah, and yeah. funny too. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, this is an action film, and we spent a lot of money on the special effects. A lot of stuff. It's <laughs> important for work for you to know. There's a lot of action. Yeah, I was uh, Shane and I were suspended in harnesses, doing this this weird space fight. Yes, it so didn't make it into the film. You are in it for one hell of a film. I'd love to continue talking, but I know you're on a schedule, and I want to thank you so, so much for coming to the Zurich Film Festival. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, please give it up for Victoria Mary and Johnny Tech. Who's got to do it?